Why is that girl so lonely and why is she in the pub? Find out in this video. Hi, I'm Kieran Dalton and welcome to the Kieran Dalton channel on YouTube. So if you told me two years ago or even last year that the world would be like some type of dictatorship in a really crappy sci-fi movie where all concerts and festivals were banned, uh, pubs and clubs were, were closed, uh, you weren't allowed to have gatherings uh, or picnics, you, you weren't really allowed out, people were working from home and you had to keep 1.5 meters apart from each other. I, I wouldn't have believed it, but you know, COVID-19, the killer flu, uh, which was created apparently when someone had a bat in China, uh, has, has done all this. Uh, and it's, it's kind of getting weaker. I mean, there, there is this talk of a second wave, which is kind of realistic. Uh, hopefully it's not, it doesn't happen, but it's a realistic theory. But uh, COVID is being downgraded for a little bit now. The infection rate is apparently lowered and they're uh, starting to reopen things. Like you can have, a, you can have people over your house again. You can have gatherings of 10 people and more importantly to some people, pubs and clubs are open. But because of COVID, COVID-19, uh, not to be confused with COVID-1 to 18, um, uh, all these crazy uh, laws, which you would never think to be laws, were creative, uh, created, you know, like the no picnic law or uh, no hugging and stuff. Now, I agree with these laws. Um, I'm not one of these crazy... I hate the government, COVID-19 doesn't exist, people. But uh, if you are looking for those people, uh, YouTube would be a good, play, good place to start. Uh, there's probably 100 channels talking about 5G creating COVID-19 or the government, COVID-19 doesn't exist or whatever. But um, I'm, not, I'm not crazy. Well, I'm not crazy in that way. That's paranoia crazy. I'm just, I don't know it up crazy I guess uh, but yeah that and some of these laws going back to where I started from uh, one, some of these laws I agree with um, like the um, one of them is it, they, they're gonna ban making out in pubs which um, which doesn't affect me it's, it's I'm just gonna go to our uh, free life uh, as normal I don't think I've ever hooked up in a pub uh, it's like the Logies. The Logies got cancelled. Uh, if you know what the Logies are, bravo. Uh, most people don't. Uh, so, Logies is a Australian award for TV, voted by the public, but there, there are claims that um, it's rigged, which I wouldn't... Now, that's conspiracy theory, I believe in. So, the Logies, all these Australian celebrities, you think they're king shit, but, you know, you know you're famous in Australia, but... The rest of the world don't give a crap about you, you know? So maybe if you're on Home and Away or Neighbours, English like you, but Americans, Canadians, Africans, um, Chinese, Asians, um, they don't give a crap about you. And they think they're king shit. They think they're the most important people in the world when really they're on Australian TV, which is a tiny, tiny market if you think about it. Um, <coughs> And they all get together and they vote for their friends. And if their friends don't win the award and some outsider wins, they complain. Then they all just do cocaine. I do feel sorry for the cocaine dealers in the Gold Coast where the Logies are held. They've lost a lot of money, you know, because the Logies aren't on. Who's going to snort all that cocaine now? Um, and schoolies got cancelled as well, I think. Well, it should have. And so, yeah, that's more cocaine not being snorted. Um, Maybe cocaine will be like property after the COVID-19 and it'd be really cheap. <laughs> and uh, rich people will probably have to find a new drug to snort, maybe like ivory or something. <laughs> uh, apparently it gives you erection. Uh, same with tiger penis, which I don't believe. But anyway, back to COVID-19. Uh, yeah, making out in pubs won't affect me at all. Because uh, I'm not really attractive don't have a good personality. So there isn't really any chance of me picking up 
in a pub or, or anywhere. But this is good because not that I'm against people hooking up, making out because the world's got to reproduce, that's how the human race survives. Though if the human race disappears, it'd probably be a good thing for the world. Um, maybe that's why COVID-19 was invented or created, I should say. Invented makes me sound like it, I think it was man-made, which it probably was, but it wasn't deliberate. It wasn't like those conspiracy theories of... Like, you know how it is that theory about AIDS was invented to kill black people and homosexuals? No. That also apparently came about when someone ate an, an animal. I don't know if that's true, but the rumor was um, AIDS came about when someone ate a raw monkey. I mean, if you're going to eat monkeys, at least cook it. Um, in COVID-19, apparently it happened when someone ate a bat. But what I, what I hate is the people who over the top make out in pubs like they're doing it for attention or they're making out in the bar line and the bar is open cleared and they should be ordering but they're, they're busy making out and i hate the people who think they're good because they got a girlfriend um mainly guys do this i guess girls could do it as well but um guys who think they're awesome because they got a girlfriend it's like no it's not really that special 90 percent, 95 percent of people at one stage will have a partner you know you're not you're not king dingling you know you're not king shit and they're making out and they're holding hands and they're they're wanting people to look at him and when someone looks too long they're far up because you're looking at the girlfriend it's just fucking douchebags uh these are the yeah these are the people i hate and also i hate the people who try to pick up a bartender she's serving you because that's her job and she's getting paid she's not doing it because she likes you um now, if you're late teens and early 20s, you're trying to pick up a bartender, I, I, I give you a pass. That's normal. But if you're past 24, it's just, it's just crap. And the older you get, once you're in your 40s and 50s and you're trying to do that, I mean, don't know how to say this nicely. nicely. Fuck off. Try, try internet dating. Stop wasting everyone's time. But anyway, so... <clears throat> Uh, you can't make out in pubs apparently that's that's rumored rumored to be a law um though it could be clickbait i mean this could be clickbait as well um so that's why it is there's a lonely girl in the pub because there's no one to make out with her you know you could you could pick her up but if you want to make out with her you gotta go outside you gotta leave the pub uh like a drunk or someone who pissed for pants um <laughs> I haven't seen anyone piss their pants in the pub. Oh, actually, I did a stand-up show, and one of the ferals who lived in the pub pissed on the seat. I'm not even kidding. She got up and squatted and pissed in the seat. So, not really pissing their pants, but it, it is urine, and it made me laugh. Uh, probably more than the comedians, and it was a good lineup that night. That was just unexpected, you know. That was, was freaking crazy. Uh, and she didn't get kicked out because she lived in the pub. She was forced to go back to her room where she may have pissed on more things. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't want to find out. Um, but I've been to that pub to do stand-up a few more times and I haven't seen her. So maybe they told her to leave. They told her to piss off. Uh, boom! Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, most people probably won't get this far in the video to... See that awesome one-liner? Um, yeah. So I'm looking forward to seeing like people get kicked out of pubs for being drunk, for fighting, um, for sleeping, and for making out. I'm looking forward to that. And I'm looking forward to people when they get kicked out fire for making out, they fire up or they try to sneak back in. And the bouncer be like, no, you were passionate, girl. You can fuck off. You kissed your chance of being in this pub Oh, away again another one-liner but i stuffed up in delivery anyway uh that's all i have to say in the matter maybe it was clickbait maybe not <laughs> i did mention a lonely girl and why she's in the pub so i don't think it is clickbait if you like this video please press the like button please subscribe please tell your friends um i've been getting a lot of dislikes lately which is cool uh any attention is good attention uh but yeah please subscribe uh, um uh, I try to do a video every day. Sometimes I don't, but yeah. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Kieran Dorton. This is my opinion. Uh, stay, stay safe.
And thanks. And Kieran Dalton out.